So I'm gonna tell you about one of my new favorite spoons that I have, and that happens to be the Bully. Now the Bully is a Williams spoon, and there's a couple things that I like about it. First is the size. The size, it's the right size. It's almost always the right size, whether it's winter or in the summer, you can catch fish on it, from big stripers to white bass, black bass, any kind of fish that you're fishing for. These right here are the perfect size for them to come up and eat it. It's built just like a thread fin shad would be probably about that size and they would like to eat that. The other thing about this is it's heavy. So it's nine tenths of an ounce. That means that it's actually gonna get out there and it's gonna drive down deep enough if you're vertically fishing it or if you're gonna throw it out and make a horizontal presentation, it's gonna be that way. They have a lot of different colors in these and they have colorful colors. Say, look at that. These are three colors. Of course, silver plated is always, always popular because it catches fish. You know, dingy water, half and half. They have a lot of those. Imagine different colors for different spoons. They have all of them that you might want for whatever, you know, whatever fish that you're fishing for. Different color patterns that are inside there. And I'm gonna show you real quick the presentations. This is what you would do is you would cast it out. If you were fishing it or horizontally, you let it fall. And if you're fishing suspended fish, you're gonna start picking it up and let it fall. You're gonna pick it up and let it fall. And keep it in that strike zone. The other thing you can do is cast it out. We'll cast it out, I'll show you. Cast it out. We're gonna let it fall all the way to the bottom, whether it be 20 feet, 30, 40, 50, whatever depth that you're fishing at. We're gonna pick it up off the bottom and then we're gonna let it fall back to the bottom on a semi-tight line. And so what we're doing is we're feeling for that bite because that thump, it usually happens on the fall. The other way is to drop it vertically. So we're just gonna count it out. One, two, three, what, however deep it is, we're gonna drop it down there. And then we're just going to pull it up and let it fall. And pull it up and let it fall. So we're following it on a semi-tight line. We're waiting for that bite to happen while the spoon is falling. So. Great way to work these spoons. These are bully spoons. 